I uh, would like to expand a bit more on the way Western companies have uh, internationalized and became international or multinational companies, uh, uh, as, as we call them. And within that, how uh, they, what type of people management structures they have um, implemented. And it's quite important to have that perspective because after that, you can then relate to Asian and Chinese companies that are new, relatively new to the international game and how they tackle the issue without necessarily mirroring what international, Western international companies have done in the past, but at the same time, kind of being tempted to copy what, what they have been doing. Welcome to Boardroom and Beyond Podcast, a show dedicated to exploring corporate governance best practice. I'm Lindsay Zhang. I'm passionate about learning and sharing the culture, historical, legal, and economic influences on corporate governance in different countries and helping companies overcome growing obstacles in a global business world. This podcast is a learning journey, taking us to different parts of the world to discover profound and eye-opening differences in corporate governance, understand those differences, and learn how to unlock the mystery of doing business whenever we go. I hope you will enjoy the journey with me. In this episode, I'm going to talk with Christine Reynaud, a highly successful French business leader with international business experience since 1980s. Christine is serving as a board member of European Chamber of Commerce in Hong Kong. She is passionate about transforming people's lives with better jobs, training, and education. In this episode, Christine will explain recent trend of board skill requirements and focus, along with international economic changes. She will share with us her business stories regarding the business mindset distinction challenge she had experienced when searching for business partners in China market. Christine will review global talent strategy challenges Western international companies went through in the past 40 years and explain what Asian multinationals can learn from the West with the entire international landscape change. From this episode, we will also understand why international business mindset becomes a highly required skill for international business leaders, regardless of nationality. Hello, Christine. Welcome to Ballroom and Beyond Podcast. Hi, hi, Lindsay. It's my pleasure to be here. I'm really happy to be with you today. Thank you so much. Thank you for taking your time for this conversation. But before we start diving into the conversation, do you mind to introduce yourself to our audience? Sure. Uh, thank you. I will say a few words about myself. So I am a French national and uh, a graduate of HEC uh, Business School in France in international management about 40 years ago. Uh, immediately after graduation, I left for Singapore. And uh, overall, I spent my professional life in uh, the human resources services sector uh, with large multinationals such as Manpower Inc. and Hudson Inc., two large U.S. Uh, listed companies in temporary staffing, executive recruitment, and talent management consulting. My role was always to lead international expansion into new markets. And over the years, I did that in a number of countries, essentially in um, Asia and across Europe as well. Ten years ago, I moved to Hong Kong and uh, I had my own executive recruitment firm. We had fully licensed offices in mainland China, three offices in Guangzhou, Beijing and Shanghai, and a branch in Taiwan. About 100 people on the ground and that led me to travel to and work in um, quite extensively across greater China. End of 2018, I sold my business to a European group. And uh, currently, I spend time studying the HR tech and uh, the ed tech uh, startup world out of personal interest on blending human and uh, technology in talent management. To listen to the rest of this episode, 
Please check our website in the description section below this video. And please subscribe Boardroom and Beyond YouTube channel so you will not miss any future episodes. Thank you for listening.